Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Talk Junkies, where tonight's going to be a very interesting night. Here we are in my basement. Woo! Got Johnny Jesse in the house. Jesse, it's been a hot minute, dude. OG. OG crew. Finally back. Yeah. Finally back in business. And cor- Man, you have been gone for a minute. But he's, been. He, but he's here now in his chair, where he's, he sits every time that he's here. I mean, that's your chair, dude. It is. I never like mix those chairs up either. That's like that's your chair. I've never switched them out or anything like that. I appreciate that. I would have never noticed, but <laughs> they're, I mean they're the same Good chair. For continuity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, just put. I mean, make an X on it or something. I don't know. I fart in it from time to time. So yeah, here we are, man. Um, last week we had uh, Blake and Carl on the shows, and a pretty good show, man. We had an interesting conversation talking about just wage gaps and stuff and distractions. And originally, I was trying to go with um, talking about those distractions, and I think we came yeah, it up started with, off differently. Yeah, and it, we, I think we found out what the real issue is, and it's just the the rich getting richer. Just a quick question on that, Johnny. I was talking to a regular at work, and they made a good point. So you said um, when app when Apple or I, or Apple makes ninety million dollars or ninety billion dollars in profit, that's straight liquid profit. Yes, that is after that is that is after all of their like reinvesting back into the company and all that shit. The only thing that they do with it that they could still technically call reinvesting or whatever is like the stock buybacks. Okay. So if they wanted to that ninety billion dollars, they could distribute it and it would just be a net profit. It's not like the the money actually exists. It's there. Yeah. They could take it out. Yeah. It's ninety it's billion dollars whole just cold hard cash. Yep. In profit in one year. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just has nothing to, to do with their expenses, no overhead. Or what they're worth or anything nothing. like that. Profit. Okay. I just wanted to double check on Well, that. I mean, no, it would change what they're worth. Yeah, that is included liquid, in their net worth. Liquid cash is honestly one of the first things you look at yeah. whenever you go to invest into a company. Uh, it's that, and then how much debt? How much liquid cash do you do you have? How much debt are you in for the future? And that company is. But from what I was talking about last week, yes, solid. that is that is real, real profit. Okay, actual profit. Where I work, I am surrounded by a lot of people who make money. So I was just curious and just wanted to have some conversations about some of the things we talked about, just to see what it, their opinion was on it. Um, and that's just kind of where that question came about because the gentleman I was talking to was trying to say. I mean, I I, I just. You did a better justice of talking. It wasn't about like, oh, they got ninety billion in sales, or they got whatever. Right, like right. this is after overhead, after paying all of their employees, after keeping the lights on, all of that, after reinvesting into like, um, new technology for the future and all this shit, and like, oh man, new products, marketing, all. It's after all that, it is profit, right? Like the purest definition of profit. Yeah, it's one hundred percent cocaine. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. But anyways, that's what we talked about last week. If that seems very, if, if what we just briefly talked about seems interesting at all, go to our YouTube channel, iTunes channel. I mean, we're on 10 different platforms. Go check it out, man. I feel bad. I didn't like Blake and Carl talk too we, much, but that's because it's one of the actual, like... Things you're passionate it's about. It's one of the subjects that I'm actually passionate about. Yeah. Like, I actually give a shit about that. Yeah. So if you give a shit about that, check it out last week, man. And, and But you pulled this off Spotify, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, we pulled it. That's a good segue, man, right there. Yeah. We're officially uh, not removing our YouTube channel or our Spotify channel from Spotify due to what Joe Rogan's been, his shenanigans, um, what's been going on. I think it first started off with misinformation, um, having Peter McCullough, Dr. Robert Malone on his podcast in December, very controversial podcast. um, And he addressed that, came out, you know, said, hey, man, what I'm going to end up doing is anytime I have a controversial podcast like that, I'm going to have another expert on to that has different opinions on it basically is what Joe said. He said, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my best to get someone on right after that podcast to debate, you know, you know, go against what they had said. So then that kind of blows over. And then next thing you know, a couple of weeks later, here we are, someone watched all of Joe Rogan's podcast, all a thousand, like 600 of them or something. And he's close. Was it like a Spotify employee that watched them all? Or are you saying it's just a random, I, and I haven't done my justice. Like I never do here on talk junkies and look into Oh, we don't do yeah, research. Fuck yeah, all that. And look into the actual, like who surfaced all of this. I mean, it's the internet, man. I mean, it was bound to happen. I've thought about it. Like we've had over a hundred and almost 200 podcasts. Dude, I've thought now. about it. If I ever got back into like my gaming stuff on YouTube and stuff, there's shit that I've said on here like two years ago that I'd be fucked. Yeah. Can't run for office. That's for sure. That's, yeah, that's for no, damn sure. Not at all. I mean, grab her by the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump, he was still president, man. He was banging hookers and still president. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could do whatever Maybe you, you do want whatever. here in America, baby. I think it's a big reason why people were upset. But Yeah. 
Um, but so now he's it's it's a big controversy, and I think we 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 got to talk about it just to see what your guys' opinions are. But uh, Joe has said the N word uh, over I don't know how many times twenty two times is one of the articles I just read. There's a viral video clip that went out. I couldn't find it. Um, the one I did find it, it, it's bleep, bleep, bleep every time he says it, so you really can't understand what he's saying or how he's saying it. Um, also, a video of him a video of him saying it a whole bunch, like all cut together, gives you no context, and context needed in everything. I'm not defending the guy. So let's, yeah, I'm just saying you need context let's, in any situation. Let's start it right there. And, and, and from, from what I could gather from this viral video clip, even without context, I don't think when he was saying these things that it was for an educational purpose. It probably wasn't. Right. So let's start there. But, and when you're on a podcast and you, you know, and I don't think he ever understood what, and, and actually some of the, what, some of the times he said it, it looked like he was in his studio in California. So it was pretty recent or within five years. I feel like, um, I don't really feel like it's ever okay to just to say that publicly on the air or even at all the N word. I agree. And I know everyone's different, right? And I think we've talked about it on the podcast before, but I can almost guarantee you, and, this is, and, the, and then I'll let you guys go, um, I would venture out to say that probably every single white person in the United States have, has said the N-word before. Yeah. Who's of age and understand, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And not that they understand. I sing what, along to J. Cole, man, if I'm alone. Like, I, I get down on J. Cole. Like, I mean, it's unedited with me and J. Cole Joe if Rogan, I'm by myself. From what but, I can gather, he's saying it with an ER. And I'm, and, it, and then if there is music, you know, and you're saying Man, I just wish I knew. Man, I wish I'd, I Once again, and I'm, the, it, it, I'll, I'll preface this with saying I'm not a Joe Rogan fan, but I don't dislike him either. I mean, I'm, he's not on my radar as far as, li- you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't listen to Joe Rogan, but not because I'm actively trying to avoid him. I'm just not interested at all in that kind of whatever. Ironically, because I do, you know, I'm part of a podcast, but I'm not interested in that medium. So I've never, I'm not a fan of Joe Rogan, but it's not like I'm against him either. I just don't care. It's not on my level. So I don't know that much about it, but I will say with any person, Joe Rogan or otherwise, context is usually, not always, but usually the most important part of it. And without the context, like we'll never know. You can't show a clip of him saying the N-word 80 times throughout the span of his career and be like, oh, man, look at this. Look what he's done. He said the N-word eight times over, you know, 3,000 podcasts or whatever. I'm like, yeah, but, like, give me a solid five-minute clip of each time he said it and let me actually – and I'm sure, just statistically, I'm sure there's times that he said it when he should not have. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not defending him. I'm just saying, without context, it's almost not – I'm not saying it's not worth talking about, but it's hard to – We should have had Sherrod come over for this one to, like, mediate this. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would have been, been, been really idea. good for this one. Yeah. That would have been a bad idea. No, no. That would have been a good idea for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, so once again, it's a bunch of white guys talking about the N-word right Stuff now. Stuff we know is, nothing about. Yeah. Let's talk about abortion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. Um, no, I don't. I just wish I knew more context, like what you were saying about. Context you know. is really important. But do you think that like whenever Joe Rogan, he has 10 million, however many followers, it's right around 10 million, if not a little bit more. Whenever, when you have an audience that big and you've done over 2,000 podcasts, there are going to be things that you have said that you're going to regret saying. For sure. And, and that goes with any walk of life. It's just unfortunate the type of environment that we live in, the life we live in, uh, cancel culture, we've talked about that. People are going to find these things that you say that are hateful or that are derogatory and things that you should have never said. But everyone says those things. And I think that's what people forget. These people who are shaming Joe Rogan. And again, and again I'm right there with you, Johnny. I don't agree with what Joe Rogan can, says. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I, this is for both of you because, once again, I, I'm not on Joe Rogan's radar. Or he's not on my radar. Whatever. Do you think, from what you guys have seen, and none of you know him personally, do you think Joe Rogan is racist? Simple question. Yes or no. Do you think Joe Rogan is racist? No. I, I don't would, think he is at all. I've never at met all. the guy, but yeah, I'm right there with you. I would say no. Okay. I'm I just that's that's continue. I was just curious. Yeah, no. Uh like I said, I mean um it's just it sucks, you know. I mean, like I said, everyone everyone no matter what race or color you are has said these types of things. You know, these people who are posting these videos, I would I would almost venture out to say that they have. And I would say that if you're going to sit there and say no, I've never said anything against another race before as a child or growing up. Dude, or, I was 15 man, playing Xbox Live. I've made mistakes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. You're with your like friends. I've, I've made mistakes. Cutie pie on the bridge, man. Other people will know that reference. <laughs> <laughs> of, never, the 50, of the 50 people who watch, someone will know. Yeah, that, that was that was a big deal. 
But I mean, I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I don't because I didn't look into the details. But I remember Massive PewDiePie. Apologies. No, no, PewDiePie he, he got was, in trouble he was for a saying streamer the has plenty of fucking views, and he got really upset, and he dropped the N word like during during a match, just literally out of frustration or whatever. Like, and had a massive, like, massive backlash. Like, you just, obviously, you know. Like, you just don't, you just don't say that. But, yeah. You just, yeah. And we make mistakes for human, like we all know. I mean, I guess with Joe's case, he did repeat it multiple times on his podcast. But Man, I wish I would have seen the actual video. Well, once again, it. Man, once again, I could feel like a piece of context. shit and redact everything I say in this podcast after I see it. And I was like, oh, man, that was pretty fucking racist of Joe Rogan. To say that, and then I'm going to sound like a dick for the rest of this podcast because I don't have the the actual like root information of. Uh, well, and that's of the it. thing; it's hard to find. I mean, I'll, I'll do it like a duck, duck, go search. Shouldn't or something, be that hard to man, find. Context right? is super important for like, man. Take Leonardo DiCaprio in Django. He said that word a lot. You know what I mean? But in the context, it makes sense. You're filming entertainment, a timepiece that takes place during the days of slavery and everything. When that his character was going to say that word, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like. But, but I'm sure that he's not. I'm sure that Leonardo DiCaprio isn't out there on the street saying that every day to people. Like, right? No. And that's you, a that's a no, that's a sure. pretty like. So, do you think Spotify should cancel him? I don't know the context. Yeah, this is so shitty. Like, we just don't, I know, don't the know the context, context to this. Like, we need to. So, you, so you can't find it. Like, you just can't find it. And like, well, maybe one of you have super, better luck. I don't know. I'm for me, I can't find it. I, look, I mean, I did a Google. We should have had this ahead of time. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know sure. this is. Well, someone someone can try and find it. Get on Imager. Maybe they fucking have it. I don't know. Oh, Imager hates Joe Rogan. They they hate Joe Rogan on Imager. I guarantee you. Like he he, he honestly he, he comes up he comes up all the time on Imager, which is like you know I'm on Imager all the time. He is a very hated individual amongst the Imager community, and there's a lot of stuff that I disagree about with the Imager community. And I also man I I think man outside of this because this tonight's the first time I've heard about. Him dropping the N word, um, I I thought he was getting a lot of backlash and ridicule because he had different viewpoints on uh, COVID, on COVID. I did I don't know I can say that right before we get like, well, we can say down. it. We're not really talking about it. Okay, so. but, dude, but he was so be, because of dude, it's so impossible to find. Yeah, because I'm even Joe Rogan N word with context and everything is just NBC News. Uh, Joe Rogan shares apology. Blah blah. Hollywood Reporter, Joe Rogan responds to viral clip of... You can't see, NBA, you can't like you see can't, the video? Like, you can't no, see the all video the, all the, saying? No, the videos are the fucking viral clip that's a montage of him saying it 80 times, all cut together. I can't find an instance of, like, here's a three-minute video with him using the N-word one time during that three... Because when you Google it, it's all just... It's the bullshit that's popular right now. And here's the it's all the fucking articles that are out there right now about his apology or about here's the viral clip of him saying it eighty times over the last fucking twenty years or whatever. Man, like you it's can't complicated. Find... The whole thing's complicated, man. It's but just it... it's man. I don't want to because I'm not. The whole point of a podcast is to keep a conversation going, so I don't want to shut it down. I'm just gonna say that without context, I have no opinion. And I and I th- yeah and same here and. But uh, you asked a great question earlier, and you said, do you think Joe Rogan's racist? And and my answer was no, and, sa- and the same with you. So based on that answer and watching multiple hours of podcasts with Joe Rogan, I would venture out to say, or I keep saying ventured. I need to stop saying that. I would. Oh, it's a good word. I know. I would I would definitely say that, I mean, I don't think Spotify should take him down. Um, I've definitely said things in the past that I'm not happy for. I've done things in the past that I'm not happy for. Everybody makes mistakes. People can change. People can yeah. be better. Dude, I mean, once again, I'm not... But I mean, the thing and I don't even like saying this, but the truth is, I know that there's no. I was never like one of those. I'm gonna rage on Xbox Live kids. I was never doing any of that. But I am sure. I am sure that when I was 14, playing Halo 2 or whatever, that there were times that I dropped the N word or said the F word, like F A G G O T. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure that that happened because I was ignorant and unaware, and I didn't know any better. So 10 years from now, when this podcast, but is I spinning, don't do that now. What, what's gonna happen? There's gonna be a news clip of you spelling that word without. This is, the context, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so I, I actually had a, a weird conversation about my significant other about, and I a regret that. That's the difference too. Is I actually regret that about a situation like this. Like we we were talking, and it was mainly on how much we're disappointed in like older generation people that we're related to, and how much they get things wrong, and we get upset about it. But I'm like, man, what are we doing wrong right now? That 20 years from now. 
we're you know going to be looked back and a being lot of ignorant things. a lot and of being things. ignorant to a lot of things so it's this weird like we we've seen enough of the past to know that human beings and societies constantly progressing culture changes and things and yeah culture changes in all this and what we're doing right now is okay but that's what we've seen through all these other past generations and we realize how much they fucked up so like what are we fucking up right now and i'm almost kind of like wondering like man what are we fucking up right now that like 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, they're going to look back at us and being like, man, how ignorant are they? It's actually a good, like, philosophical question. Yeah, no, like, like how in general, ignoring you know, the inward conversation for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just in general, like, what are we fucking up right now that they're going to look back and be like, man, they, they really messed up there. And I, I don't know what it is. I feel like part <laughs> of it right sure now is probably stuff to deal with, like, the trans and community. And it's so stupid, or well, something like that, but it's so stupid to say, no, we're the generation that got it right. Oh. And I never want to be that that person that's like, oh no, this one got it got it a hundred percent correct because there is no way I guarantee you it's been like cookie cutter exactly every generation before this was like, no, we got it right, they were just getting it wrong. We're the ones that are getting it right now. At some point, you have to be like, man, well, we're getting stuff wrong right rising, now, and and we're fucking something up right now. I just can't tell what it is. And, you know, at some point, my kids are going to have to be like, well, you know what? He was just from that generation, and he had that wrong, you know? And, and it was that. Because that's a lot of excuses for previous generations, you know? That they're like, oh, man, it's just it's just the time that they grew up in. I think, which I necessarily don't like. I'm not on board with either, because no. I still think you should be able you to wrap to your head around. And I think one thing... As far as respecting other people, and it comes down to respecting other people. One thing I think that I can see, and I don't know if this will ever change, and maybe it'll only progressively get worse, uh, so maybe that's something that they wouldn't seek out or find you know, 30 years down the road and say this was an issue, but it's just how impatient people are. Um, and I don't know if that's just human beings in general, and we've always been that way, but just working in the service industry and just realizing and seeing how impatient people are, and it's on a consistent basis too. It's just like... In the moment, busy type of scenario where you're dealing with hundreds or 50, you know, close to 50 to 70 people, give or take. And it always happens. It's just insane how impatient people are. I think that's different than what Jesse's talking yeah. about. But I agree with you. No, no, I no, actually no, no, agree no. with you. I'm saying like that's one thing that I'm saying it's a potential thing that in like 40 years from now, people could be like, well, damn, like that generation was just so impatient. Maybe, yeah, they, I, maybe I they're it, more understanding. I see the stuff that Jesse's but, talking but about previous, more is like. Like, let's say in the future, and I could see this happening. Like, it sounds, it may sound crazy to us, but we could all be in the wrong. And people, even people out there watching the podcast or listening to the podcast could be like, nah, that's nutty, that'll never be. We Like, you have to accept that we could be wrong right now. I could legitimately see that 60 years from now, it is impolite and not appropriate to refer to any person, any person when you first meet them, by him or her or anything like that. That, That's that a I legitimate could think, thing that yeah. I could see happening 60 years from now that you do not call people that you've just met Mr. or Mrs. or him or her or use any kind of gender-based pronoun, and that will become the cultural norm, and we have it wrong right now. Now, maybe it's more that morality, how we see it, is kind of fickle in the fact that it changes. So It does, and it doesn't make us bad for doing it right now. No, because right right now... It makes us I, bad if we fucking... In the future, I, I, I feel I feel very good about my morality right now about treating everybody equally. Everybody, everybody needs their opportunity to flourish without being hated on for whatever reason. If you're not, this is my general rule of thumb. If you're not hurting somebody else, you can do it. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you want to do with the body that you're in. I don't care what you decide to do sexually at all. None of that fucking matters to me. Well, are you hurting somebody? That, that's my shit. Oh, I do this. Well, are you hurting somebody else? No. Fucking go for it, man. Go for it. Get more of it. Do, like, go, like, go for it. Really go hard on it. That's, that's my shit right now, but uh, who, who knows where that, you know, progresses? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't. I mean, we'll never know. We'll, we'll never even, know. Even, that's kind of, but, yeah, but just more. But, but it's yeah. the fact that morality just progresses too, and, and 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 it progresses, but it only progresses to change once again for those generations. Because just no, be, it, that's progression in general. It's so it's it, has anything ever reverted back though? So th think about this. Yeah, has there ever been a moral 
that's changed and then a hundred years goes by and then they go, oh man, they had it right a hundred years ago on how they were treating things. And what does it really even make it right? Because I mean, we've, oh, we were, I can't think of any, like that's we'll never question. revert back to fucking slavery. You, you know what I mean? Like I that's, mean, years and years and years and years and years from now we might, you never know. Like yeah. what, let's say aliens show up and we make all the aliens slaves and then fucking 800 years after that, we realize that that's bad. Aliens are fucking people too. I mean, knows? based may, upon may, what we talked about last week, we're in, in the led, I mean, essentially slaves to the work system. Right. I mean, yeah, that's well, a that, different that's, topic. That, yeah, I was about to say that's a different conversation. But not. I mean, but 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 in the context of that, I feel like it, it kind of generally fits. Different in. form of slavery. Sure. Depending on yeah, what I'm not. I, I don't want to say different it. form of slavery. I agree uh, with you, and so, you know, but a different form. So try to like clean this segment up a little bit. Talking about Joe Rogan, maybe at the time his morality for doing that was completely fine in. And, and it was all cool and everything. But now, due to the change of morality, which is, by the way, rapidly changing. I, I almost would say it's exponentially changing what you can and can't do in America, which is fine. There's just nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to say that this is, can you know, it, it can have no. a negative effect. It can have a negative effect. There but there's are, nothing wrong with there that are small groups as far as overly cultural change goes. So, no, hold on, but, hold on, hold on. Before you even say that, let me just say this. Because whenever Joe Rogan had on Peter McCullough, and Robert Malone, who are highly regarded, you know, doctors in their fields, okay? Some of the best doctors, right? Or inventors, whatever you want to call it. And so they came out with a news article trying to smear Joe Rogan, saying that there's this petition with like 750 doctors and healthcare workers. Come to find out, like, there was maybe 10 doctors. And the rest of, I mean, and I'm getting my numbers wrong, but it was a very minimal amount of people who were actually doctors saying that they wanted Joe Rogan off Spotify or petition those two podcasts. But they came out with a news story saying 250 doctors when it was really well, just like 10 people. So this, this is to touch on the Joe Rogan thing. So go ahead. Go ahead. I've got this, my, this is what I'm was just going to bothers me with that in general is shutting people down. Doesn't help anything. Whenever you hear something that you don't like and you don't agree with morally to just go on ahead and shut it down. I, I can't stand and once again, maybe maybe this is the one thing yeah. that I'm wrong about. No, it's the internet, man. Or, it's or the something. Internet. But it's I'm like the fucking internet. You don't shut somebody down for having a different opinion than you, because just driving them into um, it doesn't work. The you know the underground, yeah. like the underground, you're not changing their opinion about anything. All you're doing is not giving them a voice at all. You know, like you don't have to, you don't have to, like take the Nazi platform away. Right, because there's always going to be fucking shitty Nazis in the fucking world. It's better for them to almost openly fucking talk about it and have a conversation, and then show them the other the other show way. Show them the light. Educate right when them. you shove them, right when you shove the the asshole, and I'll call them asshole fucking Nazis, pieces of shit, which they are. Whenever you shove them down in, into the underground, they the it's like it, it just creates bad shit. And then you have underground fucking Nazis. Why not just let them have their fucking platform and you can maturely talk about this and, and allow them to talk and have freedom of speech and I feel and shit like that's like that for too. the most part what Joe Rogan's done. I mean, he invited President Donald Trump at the time on when he I'm was going to sound like a Nazi advocate. They're going to be no. like, Jesse's a fucking Nazi. <laughs> yeah. after this. But that's obviously not the point. You're but making. like what Joe Rogan has done with his with his podcast, I mean, it should be obvious. He's, he has a lot of good guests on. Right. And he legitimately tried to have Biden and Trump go one on one on his podcast. Trump said he would do it. Biden said no. Which I think, like, and, and, and this is kind of off subject, I, that's what you I would... really think Trump would have fucking done that He said shit. he would. But what I'm saying is that's how it should be. Like, presidents should go on a podcast and sit down and talk for two or three hours in that type of environment as opposed to MSNBC or CNN or Fox asking general questions. I absolutely questions, 100% agree with this. Asking general questions, bullshit questions, and they, don't, they can just beat around the bush. And I'm not saying Joe Rogan should be the narrator. He should do it. But what he's built that type of empire with his podcast where I would be interested to watch it. Now, whether or not he said the N-word, if I was watching one of those podcasts, I've watched probably a couple hundred of his podcasts. I've never listened to one where I've heard him say that. Now, if he were to, if, if there was one that I was listening to and he did say it, it may have changed my opinion on Joe Rogan in that moment, depending on the context like you talked about. And at that point, I would have had the option to either choose to listen to Joe Rogan again or not. Granted, I know it's different because Spotify has the, ch the, the choice to say, hey, dude, you're done on my platform. But I'm still going to have access to Joe Rogan. I'm still going to be able to find him. The dude has 10 million followers. I'm seeing my piece I was going to say earlier. What, give, okay, given, given the idea that I'm pretty sure a lot of people would agree on, given previous information on what I was talking about as far as morality changing throughout time, 
And you can agree that morality is going to be different in the fucking future. So what is the purpose of quieting anybody at that point? Why not just let everybody talk and everybody try to work shit out the best that you can? Why shut somebody down? I mean, you need to give somebody backlash. Like, yeah. you'd be like, bro, you need to... Criticism. Yeah, yeah. Bro, what For the sure. fuck are you doing now? But you don't shut them shut them down. You, They want blood. They want blood. They that, want to just take okay, him so off. That's, and- that's the point that I was going to make earlier talking about Joe Rogan. And I'm glad you brought up the Trump and Biden thing as well. Not that that has to be Joe Rogan, but right. you're talking about how these questions are pre-planned out from MSNBC and all this stuff. Maybe this entire smear campaign, once again, I'm just, this is a non-biased, I don't know what I'm talking about view. Maybe this entire smear campaign on Joe Rogan and all of this stuff that's happening is the the scripted thing that they're pushing forward. Like maybe Joe Rogan is a free, like, He's not overlorded by right. MSNBC. He's not overlorded by CBS or Fox or whatever. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't have like that, nobody's paying us. He right? doesn't have that corporate overlord. Just like us, we don't have we don't have to hold up to anybody. Kind of thing. Maybe though, he got big enough, too big for his britches, and they're trying to shut him down with this smear campaign. But in in their bag of tricks, they found that Joe fucked himself. Exactly, and they're using that though to what? Oh yeah, that's from like a week ago, two weeks ago. It's got chlamydia. Um. No, no, that's a good, interesting point. I was thinking that I just didn't want to say it type of thing. No, like you know maybe that, saying? and I'm not saying that that's the case. Right. But I could see that being a thing, it, you know? It's odd, it's odd He's this that, outspoken, can speak freely individual with a platform and a massive audience. Bigger than any news station. Eh, disagree. No, I don't. When you talk about anytime he uploads a video, he does clips on YouTube in one day. Do you know day. how many people watch the fucking news? No, I'm saying like CNN, MSNBC. Joe there's Rogan. no way he's bigger than CNN or he is. no. There's no way he is. There's no. I, look it up. Look it up. He is. Hundred th- percent. There's no fucking way. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I, that, like, that he's what? Did I miss that? He's bigger. Th- that than he's CNN. bigger than CNN. He has a bigger viewer, viewer audience. There's than no. CNN. No. Yes, he does. No. Yes, he does. There's he does. no fucking way. There is a way. He I'm does. trying to think what to even look up for this. Before I look this up, though, let me finish my train of fucking thought, which I'm already losing. Is the point is you have these massive fucking CNBC, CNN. CBS, Fox, all these, whatever, who they are scripted. You know what I mean? And then you have someone like Joe Rogan. He was huge. Apparently what you're saying bigger than them, which sounds insane, but going off of that huge either way. So they're doing what they can to shut him down Yeah, because they want control of the information. And, and they're be they so want control of the narrative. They yeah. literally got to be so frustrated at Joe Rogan being like, man, you just sit in front of a mic and then, millions of people listen to you and you don't have any anybody that you need to bow down to like if if you think that there isn't bias in in media at all and and the media is not paid off like it's just i don't know watch the news for like 10 minutes and then you see like the people that pay them off like because they they sponsor them they can't talk bad like like about them like this it's pretty blatant in you know through my eyes, but I don't know. Once again, there could be something that I'm getting wrong. I don't know. Same. I, I mean, but, either way, I don't think he should be canceled. Um, I think in business as usual, I mean, he came out and apologized. You know, like, he, there's nothing he can change about what he said, right? Just don't say it again and apologize. And also, by the, and, and also, by the way, you can't cancel Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan, once again, doesn't owe anybody anything. He's self-made. He can do what he wants. He cr- kind of created his own platform in in a weird way. Like, he will always be Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Like, who, is he going to fire himself? Like, <laughs> I, like he's self-employed. Like He's the godfather he's doing, of podcast, man. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing his shit. You can't, which is, I, I find, a, which can obviously come at a price too, because at some point, you know, without a PR person coming in there and being like, yo, Joe, don't, don't do it. Just yeah. don't do it. He's like, well, I'm a comedian and I like pushing buttons. Yeah. Which is another thing that I think about. Once again, I don't want to speculate on this anymore as far as all the inward drops that he had or anything, but I know that he's a comedian first before anything else. Like he's pretty much he he's a very he's a very well known comedian. And comedians like to have those those shock moments of, you know, changing emotion in the people that are viewing him. So who, you know, I mean, exactly, and that's a once again, dude. He he has to bow down to nobody. Like he he's just doing his own shit, which you he's, know, he's not he can bigger. Fuck up too. 
He's, he's yeah, not. there's no way. Yeah, there's yeah, no he, way, he is. man. He's, he's not. Literally, I'm looking at the, like. No when way. you get views per day, I guarantee you, Joe Rogan. I mean. Uh, they, they're going through the views per day and okay. all that and average views for the month and everything. He is not. He's about a third of, or sorry, a half of the amount of CNN total mm-hmm. and then two thirds of NBC. But both Fox and, you yeah, know, Fox is bigger than both of those. Fox is bigger. They're the bigger than both, like CNN. CNN and, 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 and NBC. Okay, so, yeah, I was wrong in that in that regard. But I think, like, if Joe Rogan had a TV show where he was doing nightly news, he would be bigger than CNN. He's huge. Now, no, yeah. the fact that he's just, like, one person with, obviously, a crew and a staff and stuff. But, like, him compared to, you're talking about multiple talking heads on mm-hmm. CNN. Yeah. Multiple talking. But those are still bigger networks. There's, but the fact, though, hold on, the hold on, fact on. that he is half of CNN no. is already more than I thought. Like, that's insane. There is a metric, and I don't know what metric it is, that he is bigger than CNN. And he's bigger than any of their individual talking heads. Like, he's bigger than Tucker, uh, Tucker Carlson. He's bigger yeah. than... No, there's there's a metric. But not the network as a whole. I, there, there's a metric, and I'm and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I'll find it. And, I'll, and I, I don't... And, it, and it, it's impressive, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But when it comes to like, yeah, CNN has a news He's channel massive. that, that He's everyone ma- watches. It's in. I don't think they're in every airport anymore. But I mean, who knows how many TVs are on CNN that shouldn't be on CNN? You know, no, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Oops, That's sorry. a loud ass ringtone, bro. Yeah. No, but he's uh, uh, even. Uh, even if you're wrong, even if I'm wrong, either way, there's proof that he's. Oh no, I'm wrong. He's you, massive. You just, I mean, that's solid evidence. He, he he's massive though. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think there's really any much more we can really hit you, on that. Well, also, think about if you want to get into conspiracy theory a, li- a little bit, which this podcast never does. So I know <laughs> this is a curveball for everybody. But man, if you were a, a media news source, who is your biggest threat? Almost. No, that's uh, yeah, no for sure. That's what I'm saying. He's a massive threat to them. Joe if he's half the so, size of CNN, he's so been, he's that's been, insane. He's been calling out CNN hardcore lately, and he's got half the viewership They're that all CNN garbage. does. That's They're all garbage. Crazy. All of them need to be fucking called out for their fucking bias. And they've even come out and said, "Oh, well, this is entertainment." Like, oh, by the way, but the, the same thing that we were talking about earlier as far as the entertainment, not actual sport or not actual news or not actual whatever. You're just like, man, it's entertainment. It's just entertainment, man. Why are you taking this so seriously? You know? Because you portray <laughs> yourself as. Yeah. They're, they're no, probably labeled dude, as the same the thing. thing. Is, all, all those. It's we, entertainment. We have all, so, we've all known that the news is garbage for a long time. For a long fucking time, we've known the news is garbage. And a lot of people do. More they and more still, people every day. No, but I'm saying shit. more and more people every day are realizing how fucking garbage the actual like news is. Even local, and, they, and, and they that all, it's and not they news. And then every everybody's just laughing. Everybody up top's just like laughing. You're like, yeah, okay. You argue about they made their money. whatever president. Yeah, I, I hate it whenever people come in and they argue about whatever president's in office right now, and they're so mad about you know. It happens the every time. Every and their election. life's literally the same. Like it's not like they come in and they order like a less expensive drink. Or whatever, you know, not like they're living in the they same might. house and shit. They might order it's a like, less man, expensive drink. Everything, what has man, changed for like, you? It's not what like, has changed. It's not like Biden got elected and you're like, man, I can't order my bullet bourbon rye uh, uh, old fashions anymore. Now I got to order Jack Daniels yeah, old fashions. Like that's fucking Joe dude, your life doesn't fucking, fucking, fucking president. No, no, it's entertainment and you're arguing about the same like WWE shit. Like, oh when, man, I, I really like. When you again, know, Stone Cold Steve Austin and shit. And when he again, fucking he lost the belt. Donald this Trump is, you know, was in the WWE. This is probably just I don't like Rey Mysterio, but you know he's got the tag team. Six one nine. Probably just another distraction. While the rich just only get richer, I think ultimately. Is what yeah. That comes well, down yeah. To. If you want to get down to it, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> if you break it down to brass tacks like that, they're really good at putting up distractions, man. And 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 it, and it, it you look at this one, and it's it's obviously the race one. It's the the race issue, and that's what that's gonna. It just brings that back into. You know, and after George honestly, Floyd, I, I, being not cocky, that's the wrong word. Toot my own horn for a second. George I'm glad Floyd I didn't know up. about the fucking Joe Rogan. That, that scenario was fucked. What up. I'm saying is, after George Floyd, this is probably your next biggest like race issue. Is Joe Rogan saying this? How? No. Lar- oh my god. I'm no. saying from then it. I, no. I'm it's saying, really the black community's rallying around some fucking I'm, bald ass white dude who no. said the n word fucking I, twenty times. Like that's that's what I'm what's saying, really oppressing them. Not like the no, police. No, 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 no. He's not what I'm saying. He's saying it's their it's the media's distraction method. Oh, for for them to like to take away from the fact that they've been this. Correct. Like obviously I'm oppressed since, since like, George Floyd, this is the biggest news story for race baiting, is what I'm saying. I could see that. I could uh, see that. From what yeah, it's nowhere again, on just, the actual I just, I just massive scale of no, no, mattering, no, no. I, right? Like I as far as like knew. stuff that actually matters, 
This is so low tier. And like I, this doesn't fucking matter. You know what I want? I want I want polled a million black people all have to watch Joe Rogan in context saying the N word, and then they all get together and then decide like what what should be like how uh, like people should feel about it. Like, and and then I'll be like, okay, like let me let me hear your shit. Not just like, oh man, I heard that Joe Rogan like. Pretend I'm a black person right now. Oh, I heard Joe Rogan said the N-word. Immediately, I'm going to be upset, right? Yeah. With, like, no context. Once again, we need fucking context. Without context, this is it's yeah. useless. We'll get it figured out. And I don't but know. It, it still created a good conversation, though. Yeah, that, definitely. That stemmed did. other places. So I'm not... Man, if Joe Rogan fucked up, I'd be like... That's crazy. You, you, talked you, about, like, you talked about, like, polling a bunch of people and asking them to, like, look at it with context and stuff. And this is... I'm going... I'm Which digressing. Would never happen, by the I'm, way. I'm digressing hardcore right now. Like, I'm way off on a different fucking train. But... It made me think, you know what's hilarious? And I don't know how my mind went here, but it's hilarious that, like, for, let's say you have a jury, right? Like, there's a murder trial or something. They will sequester that jury so that they don't get news and stuff. Like, they'll put them in a hotel or whatever and be like, hey, you can't use your phones. You can't look at the news media. You can't look at the coverage of this because it could make you bias. It could sway your verdict. You know what I mean? And yet we have stuff like presidential elections where they literally have ads on TV. Like, we're going off a fucking paid-for advertisement for who we're going to elect of the leader of the free world. Yeah. It's very ironic, for sure. We're, we're I, just, all, I, I don't know where that came from. I just... Oh, it's because we're all backwards and fucked, man. Yeah, man, that makes too much sense. It always makes... Okay, so, so this is the thing. This is the thing. If Joe Rogan is... And I, and I see it, and he's blatantly, in context, being a racist piece of shit, do I quit watching Joe Rogan? I'm asking myself that question right now. Are you going to answer it? Depends on who the guest who comes on is. Because a lot of times I don't really even go to Joe Rogan's podcast it's, to listen to Joe Rogan. It's, it's to see it's the, not, guest, the guest who comes on the show. That's a valid point. The very little bit I have seen of Joe Rogan, I don't find Joe Rogan entertaining at all. I think that he's got a big enough, like honestly, I think that he has a big enough following and a big enough, what do you call that, platform to where there are times when people will come on whom I'm interested in hearing from. But... Man, I don't think Joe Rogan's questions are that fucking crazy or out there that any random fucking person couldn't ask. Right. He just has the ability to get those people on. Yeah. And I've never, that's why I'm not, I'm not a fucking, I'm not a Joe Rogan fan, but I'm also not against him. Man, you know I think I mean? extremely like a, less of him. Like, like that would, like, I would If think you found extremely. out he was actually like a racist piece of shit. Yeah, no, man, that would hurt my soul, actually. Y you know what? Because I look up to Joe Rogan, like, so much, and I, I really do. I've been a massive fan of Joe Rogan. I, I Someone's going to take this 30 years from now and clip the part where you said you look up to Joe Rogan. Oh, After yeah. After we find yeah, out whatever. that he's like, I mean, who cares? he's like Bill Cosby 2.0. <laughs> like, who cares? But uh, no, I, I look up Dude, to Joe I'm Rogan. Dude, I'm done. I'm done with Joe no, Rogan, so, man. I'm so done. That, that, shit would, that shit would hurt a lot. That, that's all I know is the, actually finding out that he's legitimately a racist person that judges people based on the color of their skin, which is the most ignorant fucking thing I can think of in my life is yeah. treating somebody because they look different than you. That's yeah, dumb. That's that's the stupidest fucking shit, like like ever. So no, that that hurt a lot because I look up to the guy. That, let's, that's, let's, that's what I'll leave. I'll let's leave get it to, let's get to something. Um, I don't I don't really want to get into the tax thing. I think if we did that it, again, I didn't do enough research because I know I don't know if the new tax bill or where it was put in. And which, I, dude, and I know nothing about. This, I'm just like, saying in which stimulus it was passed and if it was the most recent one. Were there anything over six hundred dollars is going to be taxed? I'm just saying people, and I'm, I'm not even going to go into this, just get prepared. Any, any amount of money that on paper you're making. What's the point of, oh, wait, are we not getting into it? I mean, we can get I'm into not, it a little bit, but I just don't I, know too I, much about the bill. I can't or because when I haven't passed. read the bill because you could be wrong about this Venmo might, or whatever. Like, it could just be from a business or whatever. Like, I haven't read the fucking bill. Right. So, so put a scenario real quick. Just scenario. So if you are selling tickets for an event through Ticketmaster and you make over $600 profit, you have to fill out a W2 a W9 or whatever the fuck it's called. Because you made profit, you're technically supposed to. On any amount by the way, you're supposed to do it on $2. Yeah. If you make profit, if you make But it's okay, just for for a second though. This is something that but they you have can't not receive your money though. I think is what the big deal is. Yeah, they like... won't they won't pay out from uh, from my source that I that I talked to. They will not pay out the money until you complete this W9 or W2 whatever the fuck it is. This is something that has not been a practice of Ticketmaster for, since this what? person has been involved in owning these tickets. This is what frustrates me. What the fuck is the purpose of the goddamn IRS? Why does that business have to force fucking shit? Like, I understand taxes. Taxes make sense. You have to have taxes. 
why is it that business handling that that can't pay you out the money that they owe you? Like they owe, like Ticketmaster owes me money, but then they go, oh, well, you need to file out your taxes before we give you your money. If if it, if that was the case with like employment, like okay, I go to work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before why are we even talking about this? Why are we okay with getting taxed on anything that's over? They, if you make a profit over six hundred dollars, give it, give it, give it a little six hundred fucking. You get taxed dollars. on everything, just not just, just not just six hundred. You get taxed on a dollar. Just keep. If it, you make a profit, you get taxed. I know it's just, just it's, keep, it's keep insane. It it's insane the reaches that they're going to to get their hands on every possible but every possible amount of money okay. that they can. That's taxes, Let, man. Did, that, is that, did we not leave that? Is that not why we left Europe? Was because, it was it taxation without representation? Without representation. We have we representation. Have plenty of what representation. What representation? All of your senators and every, like, literally oh everyone. Oh my God, all you pieces. call that representation? Once it's again, it's right. the again, same that's fucking why. thing. It's, we're literally in the same scenario. So right you're now. talking about just corruption of government in general, which we talk about every I know, time. I know, I know, I know. We, we gotta, gotta be more specific. Like smaller. I know. smaller. That's why I said What I'm saying is they're literally getting their hands on the smallest amount of money possible. All right, it's let's, keep it, let's keep it smaller because you can obviously take it to that. You can obviously take it to that. But this is my old thing. What is the purpose of the fucking IRS? Like, you owe me money, but you need me to fill out some shit with the government. No, that's my, that's my business with the fucking government. I'll handle my shit with the government. You just give me my money. And all that's, you, you have it on record. Obviously, like, names are exchanged. The, the ledger's there. You got the there. receipt. You got the, the receipt. Ledger, the ledger's there for, for where money was exchanged, Right. Why for me to get my money from not the government, but from where I made my money, why is that happening there? Why is the government so involved with this transaction between me and me and this company? No, you just give it to me. I'll, if I don't pay my taxes, that's on me. I'll Wesley Snipes this shit. I'll, I'll go to jail. You just give me my money, and then it's on. It's obviously all there on paper. Trust me, there's not some like weird loophole you could get around like there's two things that are certain in life right it's death and fucking taxes unless you're jeff so, bezos but well that's once again keep it small paul yeah keep my it bad small my bad. you can my always bad. branch it out but like this for a common person i'm like why does this have to be taking place to where you just give me my money everything's on fucking paper and i will deal with the government how i want to deal with the government as far as my taxes go and, and how all that goes that's between me and the government not from where I'm making my money. This is where the issue becomes really, really bad for me is that the company is already stepping in and not allowing money up until you handle your, your tax level shit. That's no, that's not how it is. I, I've made my money. You can't hold my money from me. Give me my money. If I want to, I'm but free. But you're using their platform. I'm a free. I don't you're give a shit. I don't, I don't give a shit. Someone I, I made, made money. Use, someone you, you give me the money. What? How does it hurt them? How does it hurt them? All, all the records are there that I need to pay those taxes. How is it going to hurt you that that I'm getting the money that you owe me and then I need to give it X amount, whatever, in taxes to the government? How does that have to do with the company so it, that I'm dealing with right now? What to it, get, se what to it seems like from. is the government has stepped in in some way, fashion, or another. Too much. And said, hey, way too fucking said, hey much. you're going to fucking make sure that these people pay us the money or, you're gonna, or something's going to happen. I don't know. Yeah, so you're just talking about some bullshit fucking no, this is, bills that were passed. To keep it yeah. small, this is fucking ridiculous. The, the information's there. There is no way of fucking changing it for common people like us. You give me the money, and then I'll work out the fucking taxes whenever I decide to do the fucking taxes. I don't need to do it right now. Just give me my money. Give me my money. It's all in Man, paper. Man, you say that, but you literally get paid, and they take taxes out of your check. Shouldn't you be able to get your full paycheck? Sure. And no, then pay income tax Man, at the end can. of the year? Once again, you now, now you just branched really? out a little bit. Yes. How? You just got a little talk to your HR payroll. Tell me when to claim zero. Are you, I do claim zero, and uh, I still get taxed. No, no, no. There's, there's a certain code that you can put where they take zero taxes out of where your Where they'll account. never take taxes out, never and will. I just owe that at the end of the year? Correct. That's interesting. Yes. I didn't I, know that was an option. I've done that. I, didn't, I legitimately I've didn't. I've done that. Like, they don't take out for FICA, nothing. Medicare, nothing. 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 They take nothing. You, you get, get your full pay. The full pay. And then at the end of the year, when your taxes are owed, you've got, obviously, a lot of work on your hands. Yes. But you can do that. Yes. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, it's 100% but that's, an option. Like, you know what's crazy? is that should be the default. Yeah, that, like, should, that should be like how you it should is. have to. It should be the other you way can, around. You should have to opt into the like, no, I don't want to deal with all this legal tax trouble at the end of the at the end of the fucking year, at the beginning of the new year or whatever. Um, so I'm going to have them, I'm going to have Missouri take out a little bit of each check. I'm going to have blah, blah, blah. Like the default should be give me all my money and then let me deal with the government. Well, I think if they were to do that, then then they would people would realize like, hey, why am I giving this much money to the yeah, government? Yeah, right. Ooh, yeah. ooh, so that's the whole thing, right? Yeah. 
Wow, so they have to step in more and more each time. And then what if, uh, you know what? That's the other reason is because then what if nobody paid? Exactly. That's always been my biggest dream is like everyone wakes up and doesn't pay taxes. You still need taxes. Taxes are a necessity and I don't mean a bad way. Like taxes are, taxes are actually important. I actually agree with taxes. Taxes should be a thing. I do not agree with the way that they're, that they're like managed. Like that the way, the way they're done distributed. That's what it is. All of a sudden you take away your money being able to manage by political officials is whenever you do it that way. And then you have a big say in where your money goes because you're like, hey, you don't have my money as to where they have your money already. So what is there to argue so much? They already get, got your money, right? Every paycheck, they're pulling that shit out. Like this is, man, I'm about to go off into something else. So I, I need to keep it small. So they're, they're pulling your money out e- each check. It's hard to argue with somebody who's already holding on to that money, right? What if you had that money and then you go, wait a second. I don't agree with paying you know, I just look through my local legislation and I don't all agree this with this budget on the and state. where these taxes. No, are going. I don't agree with this budget. Why? Why is it going here? No, I'm not paying that. And then they, what do they do? They don't have the money. The fact is, they've already taken that money. And so, if they can already take the money from you before you even physically fucking have it, they they've won. But they, but you're right. The default should be that. For yeah. sure, you should no, walk just into give me a, my money, and then we'll work it out afterwards. Just, just give me my money first, that's a, and then we'll discuss that. Beautifully taxes. said. That's default. When you enter the workforce at 15, 16 years old, that's how it should be. I mean, and that's tough to tell a 16-year-old, hey, like, you're not paying any taxes, so you better save some of that money because you're going to end up owing money at the end of the and year. And that's probably part of the reason they do it, too, because they wouldn't be able to collect. That's the truth. That's the honest they, truth. The government yeah. would not be able to collect. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't. Imagine if every single person who is working, every single person... Every American in the workforce right now didn't pay a dime in taxes until January 31st of the following year. Well, and then everybody's responsible for paying. The government would never collect. No. They wouldn't be able to. No. Well, then sales, like state, state sales tax would just skyrocket. It will, no, it would just, it, dude, it would fall apart. It not actually, I under, like, I, I get it. It would uh, fall apart. Not necessarily. I mean, be, dude, the, the economy might be thriving. People have more money. You're able to do more things. And, and you still have local, like, whenever, like, you talk about this all the time. You're talking, People go to buy shit. have more money. Everyone has more money. And, and I mean, I don't go know to buy where, shit. And then you go to buy shit. Well, whenever you go to buy shit, see, you're already handing your, your money roads, over. Your roads wouldn't be fixed. Yeah. Your government would have. We your, live in Missouri. Your, our roads aren't that fixed. Your, the, the military would have no money at all. Oh, heaven forbid. We yeah. had a, whoa, whoa, whoa. We had a choke no on money. the fucking Hold up. Once again, I'm sorry. Keep it small. Just keep right? it small. Keep it small. No money is way different than, <laughs> than money being distributed the wrong way. I'm talking no money. Johnny, you got to forget that because the government's printing money at will, too. So, I mean, you got to put that into the equation as well. So, that would make inflation skyrocket. Dude, taxes are still a necessity. Like, I fucking hate taxes. They're still a necessity. So, I'm like doing a little backflip okay, so, here okay, so on the default tax. thing. Okay, sales tax. Leave it at that. I'm fine with that. I've said that. You know, this is why libertarians get shit on so much. You did say that. Sorry, I didn't. No, not tonight, but I'm saying every time. I always talk about how it should be only sales tax. That's it. There should be no income tax. There should be no property tax. Right. Sales tax. I'm almost understanding why libertarians get shit on so much. Because you're right. If libertarians had to, like, like have our way, like, mentally on how uh, government and taxes happen, shit would be fucked, like, immediately. But it would be better afterwards. I'm sorry. It would be... But... The, the first initial, like, hit would be well, really oh, it'd be, fucking it'd be, bad. It'd be, it'd, yeah. It would be really bad, but it would it would acclimate to where it'd be better for everybody else, I I thoroughly believe. But no, that's why that's the libertarians the thing, no. get shit on. It's like, an, I see why it's unrealistic, because of... It is. No, they literally, I'm like, man, fuck those assholes that talk shit about libertarians. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, if I had my way, like, yeah, shit would be fucked. Because no, of not how, necessarily, because, necessarily. No, because of the way that everything's ran right no, no, now. No. Like, if you kept sales tax, I mean, in, in, let's say you get 100% of your income, like you said, they would ra- the government would raise sales tax and collect money from the state at that point. Which is fine. Which is however much money they want or need. Honestly, it would be a better method. Man, th- there's been, like, I don't have, obviously, the reason. Man, they've done the research on this, the flat rate sales tax and stuff, and it makes sales tax crazy. It makes it uh-huh. crazy, but it's... Dude, it's a better way to do it. What are you talking about? Libertarians, like, we would fuck shit up. Look at how fucked no, up we, we are right okay, now. Okay, think about, think about me? it. Think about it. We're only how fucking many, it up. How much no, no, more no, no, could no. we be fucked up? We, we only fuck it up because the system's in such a polar opposite from where we are right now. So that transition would be The terrible. transition would be chaos. That's yeah, yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. Sure. No, that, that's why libertarian views are shit on so much. They're like, no, there's no way. You're an idiot if you're a libertarian. Well, yeah, because... Everything, it, it, everything has to restructure from from there. But in the end, 
it would be better for fucking everybody but else. But you're talking a solid, and this is just throwing out numbers. I have not, no not, idea. Not it for could the be, government, it could be not five for the years, It could be 10 years. It could be fucking 50 years. For the everyday years. person. But that transition period would be absolute, like, chaos. Yeah, we've been setting our ways like, for such would, a long there time. There would be, like, people would die and shit. A I'm lot, not going to lie. Like, people lot. would die. Like, this is, you talk about a terrible transition from a liber- from a traditional way of doing government to a libertarian mentality that I have right now, which I still believe is better. But, man, that transition would be terrible. Be beautiful too, though. Uh, the transition when it's the, the years, end result. Twenty years from now, twenty years from now, it'll, it'll be beautiful. You know, it takes it would take a lot of sacrifice, but no, it's um, yeah. I didn't really want to hit the tax part, man. I knew that. I mean, I'm glad we did. I also though. don't know enough about that bill to really say anything yeah, about it. Me like, neither. But I, again, what I from what I can tell, yeah, they're reaching as far as they can absolutely. No, reach. And oh, this, for sure. Everybody should be fucking frustrated at this. Yeah. Everybody should be fucking frustrated. But once again, it's Why, a thing that's been in existence already. They just they lowered keep, the number. They keep taking. Because once again, if you go to a casino, if you went to a casino fucking five years ago, and you won big, whatever, you're playing fucking. Not blackjack because it doesn't work that way because of the type of game it is. But you're playing something. You're playing slots. And you fucking, you put in fucking $50 and somehow you win fucking 10 grand. You get a jackpot. You win 10 grand. You have to do your, at least in Missouri. I don't know. I can't speak for everywhere. You have to do your fucking, like, you have to do the taxes stuff and fill that out there or you're not leaving with the, with the money. Yeah. So it's always been a thing. You're just talking the amount why, why has not? changed. They, they have my information, right? Unless unless it limits their their ability to like prevent fraud. What I'm saying is you weren't mad about that in the past. You're mad about it now because of the six hundred dollars. It's always been a thing, man. I've never paid taxes. That's from like, a casino. Yeah, I don't know. That's like you well, haven't I should be able to count enough. my wait. So I can count my losses at a casino. Yeah. No. Oh no. No. Yeah, you can. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. No. No. Whoa. Up to a certain amount, I thought. Hold on. No. no. So it should be the exact opposite, just like the stock market. If you're gonna tax me like that, if I lose six hundred dollars at the fucking casino, well then. You, I better be able to fucking write that off. But if I make six hundred dollars, six hundred dollars plus, well, then that's just fucked in general. That's like saying if I'm if I sell, no, if I no, sell. no, no, no. If you're gonna play the game, you you got to give me my side too. Hold on, hold on. So you're because t- then everybody would be fucking gambling then though, right? That's like saying like if you if if I were to buy a thousand dollar TV and then sell it for twelve hundred, they want to tax me on that two hundred dollar profit. Yes, that's insane. That's just insane to me. But that's how supposed everything's supposed to be done. Paper no, no, money. No. Everybody go Fuck back to that, paper man. money. Everybody go back to paper money. Yeah, the people. Yeah. Everybody go back to paper money. Yeah, that that helps out a bunch. Yeah, go back to paper. No money. No more credit cards. That'd be great. Yeah. You yeah. don't want the government involved. What? Who likes the government? Li- like liberals, Republicans, both probably agree. We're like, man, yeah, don't fuck with my money, man. But these credit card companies be giving cash back. Who? Who, bro. who wants their money? Fuck back. With? Cash that's back. a joke. That's it's a joke. not a joke. Man. No, it is. You think no, they're losing not. out, man? Uh, what's his name? Jeff Ramsey? No. Gor- Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Thank you. Dude, that's fine, man. I pay all my shit on time every single month. I pay all my debt off. Dude, I'm collecting 5% on oh, all my purchases. Yeah, you're man. getting over on them. Yeah, you're getting over on okay. them. Okay. Like you said, I'm giving them my information. Cool. What information are they getting from me? I don't really fucking care. I'm collecting over however much money I spend that I normally would spend. I'm getting money back. I mean, I just, but now I you just, have a now you have a credit score for like houses and all this different shit, dude. I'm, no, 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 I'm yeah, just, I, no, dude, go whole, back to go back to paper. The whole go back as- to everything being paper. The whole aspect. I'm saying specifically right now. I think yeah, cash I get back it. You get, cool. You're getting your fucking your freaking flyer miles and your cash back and all that. Yeah, I get yeah, it, yeah. dude. I, yeah. I get cash back on my fucking bullshit Amazon credit card. Yeah, whatever. That I literally I barely fucking use and I spend fucking fifty bucks on it and then pay my fucking fifty dollars off a day later from my bank account. I I want to know how much money is made from bankruptcy in America. That's an interesting question. Wait, from bankruptcy? Yes, from bankruptcy. How much money in America this year has been made from bankruptcy? What do you mean? How do how do you profit on bankruptcy? Yeah, who's profiting from that? The government? You don't think it happens? No, I'm sure it does, but I don't know. I like legitimately don't know. Because it's a weird thing to think about, right? Your debt's cleared at that point. You're just your credit score is no, shit. No, and, and then and then you come in and then yeah, your credit score is shit. You can't buy whatever because you had an opt out and you know all this. But man, why are there so many commercials? Why are there people that special attorneys specialize in bank? Like there is money to be made. You also from, people from think you can just. Uh, this reminds me of the office clip where he's like, "I, I declare, declare bankruptcy." Uh, you also can't just declare bankruptcy for any like amount. Like it has to be above a certain amount. 
for a certain period of time and went through like a certain number. Like there's rules to it. The amount of collectors this went through, the fucking amount that it is in the first place. Like but if you you're can, in that position, like, you're, you're like, in that position. I mean, my parents yeah, no, bankruptcy for sure. a long but what time I'm, ago. No, I, I, my, my parents did too. My parents went through bankruptcy. I, I get it. But what I'm saying is people think you can, like I can't just be like, Oh man, I got I got school loans like bankruptcy. Like you can't just do that. Yeah. You're you're also talking about just a lot of like out of thin air numbers, which is money, and you're not talking so much about resource. Like what resource is being affected from this? Like if you declare bankruptcy and they come in and get the physical resource labor that is declined, like, over time, any physical object is worth less. I don't want to get into bankruptcy antique. if I don't know shit about it, man. It's, but, I mean, I get where you're coming from. That's beautiful. To be I can, no, ch- I can no, say chapter no, 11 it's, and chapter it's, 7. It's, it's a that's, weird that's thing it. because yeah. what is, if bankruptcy is so easy and so it's many people It's not easy, though. Are, or if, okay, not bankruptcy, but, like, the physical money is just pulled, you know, out of thin air and it's just numbers. Like you, you obviously have have to have the resource to fucking back it, but all these resources are slowly declining over time. Like you don't buy, man. I'm I'm getting off on a weird thing. Like if I buy like this right here, this Rodecaster Pro right now, how, how do you know off the top of your head how much you paid for it? Like six hundred, six hundred bucks. So and you've had this for a couple of years, like one year, yeah. Oh, even my time frames off. But, like, five years from now, that's not going to be worth the same amount. Like, new technology comes in and shit like that. Like, that's declining in its overall value. And everything's declining in its overall value. That's probably actually... I don't know what you're getting at. Like, like it's weird. Like, physical shit is declining in fucking value. The price of shit is going up, though. But it's all coming from the same, like, resource shit. Bankruptcy goes off your purchase and the amount of the purchase at that time. Doesn't know. doesn't it doesn't really I don't know. I, I see this massive you bought. I'm just seeing this massive like like spiral of just like man shit's gonna be eventually up, un, un, unobtainable. unobtainable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think like, we're like slowly with that, seeing with that, that combination, with so that th- combination. So things get more expensive. The things you already own are declining in value. Outside of your own land, I guess, but you really don't own your own land. You know there's a way around that? It's called a... Uh, fuck, Blake sent it to me. It's called a, um, oh my God, what is it? Shout out to Blake, because he knows some shit. I've never heard of this. You don't own anything. Yeah, no, it's world. it's a process, but you can do it. Um, one sec. Historical? Like, you have to claim it as historical? Or? No, 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 not historical. Oh, You're talking about, like, getting around property taxes and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I just, give me one second, then it's going to show me what the what the name is for. What kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, then you can apply for the allodial title. Allodial title. That's what it's called. Sorry. Um, Which the people, whoever is in that office laugh at you. No, 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 no. no. It's a, it's a process and there are, there are strings. I mean, I think it's a legitimate process, but there's a, 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 a realistic way for you to actually completely own the land you live in. I think you have to own it outright like you have to have it have it paid off you can't have a debt through the bank that makes sense once you have that debt paid off this house paid off if i had it i could apply for an alloyal an alloyal an i can't even say the word alloyal title and in in a few months it would legitimately be mine the government wouldn't have any pause on it on paper if they truly wanted it they're going to have it but Yeah, that sounds nice. There's okay, so this is saying even with an allodial title, uh, property ownership is common law, jurisdictions is fee simple. In the United States, the land is subject to eminent domain by federal, state, and local government, and subject to the imposition of taxes by state and local governments, and there is thus no true allodial land. Oh my god, never no, mind. Then. You can't own anything. So owning basically, and I don't want, and people don't even realize this, but you know what owning something is. Well, no, no, we've we've talked about this. We've went down this road on the podcast. I'm just we, real, we really real quick, you, I, you know what owning I kind something of, is. I kind of agree with that because if you're if you're like a really really rich guy like Elon Musk, and you just pass down, you buy all this land, and you just pass it down for thousands of years, and then you expand, and then you have an emperor. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I agree with that. We're only here for a short, infinite amount of time. Finite. 
finite time, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know really how we would go about owning true land or even what that means because man, I'm the Indians, die man, and, the, 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 like, man, I said Indians, the, the native Americans had it right. Nobody owns any of this. We're just here like borrowing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, sure. We're just borrowing it. And that's it kind of what we're while. doing right now. Granted, we pay tax on it. Do you not think one of the higher up Indian guys who was like the, the chief in the tribe didn't say, Hey, you need to go the fuck out there right now. And you need to kill me a buffalo and you need to feed this family type of thing. You know, like he's a chief. He did his work. I'm sure there was some type of tax or, you know what I I'm know saying? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's just part of human human beings, man. It's just it's just what it is. It is what it is. It's not going to go away. Man, we're off on a weird tangent. Now. I know. I'm cool with it, man. I know we're close to the end of the hour, but I'm cool with what's happening right now. I haven't tried one of these yet. I'm just I'm thinking, curious. man, what, I, what I'm thinking, I think... And I know that this is way out there, and, and I'm going to just go out there, and we're just going to do something a little different right here. I'm just, I just want to talk about some different shit, man, not current events. I know we've had Howdy on. This is kind of similar to that type of thing. But um, Brian from, uh, so, okay, we've had Brian Forrester on, right? Mm-hmm. So there's another guy named Brian from uh, Bright Insight Podcast or whatever. Him and Brian have hooked up. They're both Brian's, whatever. And they went to, uh, Brian went to Peru from Bright Insight or whatever his podcast is. Anyways, he, he shows these 80-ton rocks, right? Okay. This 80-ton megalith. That's 160,000 pounds, right? The quarry is like two miles away. So where they built, where, they, where, these, where these 80-ton rocks were, up on this mountain like a mile high, where the quarry was, it was 2.3 miles or 2.8 miles across on the top of another mountain. So they quarried that, brought it downhill across the river, and back up like a 60% incline up to where it was there. To me, that makes no sense. How do you do that? Lots and lots of slave labor. When when, when was this? This is like back in, you know, like, t- this was like Egyptian time, maybe. A Aliens. Before then. And I know we'll never know the answer to that, but what I'm saying is I think that... What's so stupid is we probably should. Like, we probably should know that information, right? Right. But what Why wasn't to- it documented? That, that's the big you're talking, thing. You're me. talking way before documentation. No, they were writing shit down. If if you can move a lot of those a documents, megalith. a lot of those documents probably have been people who were treasure hunters and whatever. Man, you get into some weird conspiracy theory, like that. But legitimately, like if you had the technology back then, like five hundred years ago, to move a fifty ton megalith stone, eighty ton, eighty ton, whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, you're splitting hairs. Fucking at that so, point. So, th- like, so, what's another thirty tons on that fucking fifty? No, there was a guy who who wrote a comment on it, and he was like, "Hey, because he, Brian, he uh, comp- laser precision. No, no, no. By he, the way. Yeah, it, yeah. He compared it to an M one yeah, ancient and, aliens. And, and, ancient aliens. The back half of this podcast. Yeah, he I'm he compared it to an M one. I'm pulling my dick out. I'm pulling my dick out for this. He compared it to an M one tank. Uh, this guy in this comment when I was reading when I was reading some of the comments because he was a former military, and this guy could be lying, but I I'm just taking his word for it type of thing. And they're they're like sixty ton, and he's like, dude, whenever you're out in the middle and of nowhere, tank, sixty tons. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, dude, I never thought they'd be that heavy. That's crazy. And maybe I'm wrong on that too. No, right? I believe that. Um, I believe that when I'm thinking about how heavy cars are and stuff. I, I believe yeah. that. Um, but he was just like, dude, if that thing ever malfunctioned and you had to like fix it and you couldn't fix it and you were on the field, like he's like the the amount and the process of gathering that equipment is just insane. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Sure it is. Like, like you're talking like crane operator, like steel cables, and the, we're led to believe that it was on a log, and they they had twenty thousand men, and it was just this rope, you know, that they got from. You a don't tree. think twenty thousand men could move a tank? What I'm seeing it up a mountain, down a mountain, over a river. Yes, you over, don't think twenty thousand people could over, do that? Over no, absolutely not. What do you think they're all going to push each other? I mean, ropes, bro. Well, and you think the rope can withstand one hundred sixty thousand pounds even of pressure? Have you even thought about the bigger question? You haven't even thought about the bigger question is why. Why do it? Why do it? Right. What, the monolith and all that? Yeah, yeah, that's a good I question. I don't know. Yeah. There's probably no. religious reasons. The bigger, and who knows? Could no. be, yeah. That's way before why? our time. Why? So much effort. Whatever re- Why? So why there's, do there's it? Just, there's why just they a, build the pyramids? Yeah, and there's just a few more questions, man. And, and the, why, the why is bigger than the how on, on all these. All of these things, yes. The why. No. It's the why. Because what, why do it? It, it was it, sorry, man. No, that, that one's bigger. That no, no, one's no. bigger than the how. It was a different Fucking, time. Who gives a shit? It was a different time. You don't think pharaohs and shit in Dude, Egypt cared eating, about their? They're shitting. They they're they're eating. They're shitting and fucking just like us. Yes, drinking booze, all that shit. Who decides to orchestrate that level of fucking shit? You that bored with your fucking? Why did life? we? Why did we do Mount Rushmore? 
There's nothing to say that Mount Rushmore wasn't already there and they just touched it up. Ignoring that for a second, why did we do Mount Rushmore? Because we could. That's same fucking logic then. So they could? Yeah. But we don't know how they, we don't know the means of how they could and we don't know the why. Dude, we know nothing about it. It makes no. What's interesting? That, that, that shit. To me, what's that shit's crazy. To me, what's in, interesting with the pyramids, it would be very interesting. Why if they, even fuck if they, with it? If they started excavating around the pyramid to see how deep it actually goes, because I know that there are tunnels and there's tunnel passages underneath the pyramid. I'd be curious to see if they just started excavating down even lower and lower. Um, what would be underneath type of thing. I think that that would be I really mean, cool. More, more but pyramid. I, and I think I've said this on the podcast before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think. Uh, listening to Howdy Mikowski and um, and John Levy, it's just very interesting, man. And just like driving around and just seeing the, the type of culture and civilization that we live in right now, I don't think that it's um, out of the realm of possibilities to say that in previous times there was a more advanced civilization than there is today, but in a different way. Because you see pyramids across the world. and dude, Depends we, on your definition of advanced. I don't find pyramids that advanced. We've got way more but, advanced stuff now. But we have no idea how they worked or what they were about or what they do type of thing. Originally, we thought that they were uh, what, uh, tombs, basically, for, mm-hmm. for, king, for pharaohs. Why do we not think they're tombs now? I mean, that, that's, just, that's just a man's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Eh. That's just an archaeologist's opinion or whoever goes in there and says, man, this is what I see and this is what I gather and this is what I think type of thing. But no one truly knows. They weren't there when they made these things or know how they were. But just kind of what, what, what I was saying. What I'm saying is I think that they were more advanced in that time to build these structures because we can't build these structures right now. We could build a pyramid right now. No, we couldn't. What? what? Why, then why wouldn't we? Because why would you? We don't have a reason to. Why, why, why would we build a pyramid when to you prove can that build we can. a fucking... It's, it's fucking America, baby. We're the best. We do, we're the coolest Dude, there's no ever. reason for us to... Jesse, do you think right now that America, that if we wanted to... That if we wanted to, we could build a pyramid. Yeah. A replica. Obviously. A replica. Of what the do you Great mean pyramid. a replica? We could do the original fucking pyramid. No, we build, That's what I'm we saying. build the biggest, the best pyramid. It'll be huge. Be huge. We could build a pyramid if we wanted to, Paul. Yeah. I think that, that there is. Another country would pay for the pyramid. I think that there are cycles that go on throughout human history, when, and then there's a cataclysm where there's a mass die off of humans. And then. I don't know. There's people who are in charge or who are in control. And I know I'm sounding super crazy right now, and I don't fucking care. This is just what I think, man. man no, it's cool shit to think about. This right? is just what this is just cool what I shit think. to think about. Because I think that Nothing eventually, I it. think that eventually, that there's too many people on the earth, and they got to start. And, and maybe not, because in, in my opinion, I think there's an abundance of resources, and we can all share it together at an equal rate. All this type of shit. I don't know how to go about doing that or anything like that. I'm not saying I know the answers. I think that that type of thing exists, but I think that there are people who are in control. And every couple hundred years or however many years it is, maybe a couple hundred, two, 250. Now with technology, it might be a little harder to do it. Who knows? Then they kill off majority of the population. They keep all the kids. They brainwash them into the type of environment that they want to create for the next civilization or future. That's some crazy and conspiracy I think, level stuff. I think that this has happened. Cares, I think that this has happened. That's my big thing. Who cares? I think that this has happened multiple times on earth. Multiple times. I don't think that there's. But why? Been, what evidence do you have? I mean, I, it, having Howdy on the podcast, I think the world's fair is, man. I think, and, and this is what's crazy, okay? And I know this is far out there. I know that, the, dude, you're talking a million square feet buildings built in, in the world's fair. 1876 in Philadelphia, they had a, a building that was a million square feet. How, how hard that would have been to have done in 1876 with horses and shit like that. You got to move all the equipment, wood, no, all no, this I, shit. No, no, I agree with the, 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 the World's Fair stuff from what he on. said. Like, it, it's weird. But for me, is maybe, and maybe, and this is just my theory. I know Howdy has his, John Levy has his, and I start to just piece my own theory together. And this is just my theory. Maybe these World's Fairs buildings, and they talk about millions of people coming to these World's Fairs. I think maybe it was just a trap. Lots of people died. Then you had these baby incubators, p- passing babies out to whoever, orphans, whoever. How would we never hear about that? What do you mean? His, the, the Victor Wright's history. I, and I you agree talk, with you there. I agree with you there. That's what but I'm like, saying. Like, who knows how cyclical these people are and how they create religion, they create divide, they create slavery. They've created all these things. And I'm not saying that human beings aren't capable of doing those things, but I think that there is people. We definitely people, are. We're the ones who do it. But I think that there are people higher up there. And, and, and this goes back to the podcast we've it's had. It's funny that you're like, yeah, we we but, do all those yeah, things. We, but we what I'm saying is things. this comes this I, comes, I can see why people do evil things. This I comes am, back to I the podcast that. this comes back to the podcast we had with are you inherently born evil? You know what I'm saying? Are you inherently born selfish? Sorry, that's what I meant to say. I think that 
within the with within each of these resets, like it's just been the same uh, gener. I don't know. I don't we, know. That's we just are kind inherently of born selfish, and I don't even want to go down that road. I think that that we've had this conversation. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, th- th- this is just my theory. I know it's fucking way out there. I mean, why, why wouldn't you be, why wouldn't you be selfish? I don't know. It's the only thing you know. And like, maybe, not, not to talk shit. Like we've I, had this I know, whole, you, we've went, man. I, I know, I'm just, but I'm to, just like, saying, maybe David to like Ike is re- right. Reiterate, no, maybe. reiterate it, like, of course, th- because you, we're naturally, but, we're like what I'm an animal. Is, what I'm you s- just preserve this. You guys really believe history, what it's told? Like, you believe, no, a, no, no, but I also no, don't no. fucking care. No, I know, but, and, and I'm not well, saying that I'm right. Some of, it, some of it I do, because some sometimes you have to think outside and unselfishly okay, let me rephrase. Let me re- yourself. Let me rephrase. I don't care about, like, dude, I don't, I do not care why or how the pyramids were built. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't care. You don't want to know? Like if somebody was like, no, hey, I'm I don't give a shit. You. I don't give a shit. Fuck, I want to know, man. Dude, it's not important. Know. It's not. Well, maybe it is. Dude. If, dude, if they Video came up to me Video games aren't important. If, I know, that's, no, no it, going by that nihilistic route, then nothing's fucking I'm actually, important. I'm becoming more and more nihilistic the older that I get, and it's kind of scary. Like, I just see this, like, no, what 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 matters is how we fucking treat each other as fucking humans. That's the only thing, in my opinion, that actually fucking has any like weight to it. But I mean, we're going I don't to, care dude, about having some great sarcophagus and having an amazing on, fucking on. grave and you, all this you shit. You can't sit there and say that because yes, whenever we're with each other and we're with our friends and family, like things are close and personable. But when we're at work and we engage with people, that's fine. But when you start to watch the public and how they react towards each other, man, and I'm working in that type of environment. And I look up sometimes, and I'm just looking at everyone, and everyone's on their phone. And granted, they're interacting with other. What's that people. have to do with the pyramids? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying you're talking about like what's important is people being nice to each other and interacting, and yeah, like we're okay. So maybe technology is advancing us into a different type of breed of human beings. So I guess maybe that could be a good thing, and maybe we'll be even more interconnected and loving I mean, we'll, towards we'll, each other. Humans are corrupt. You know, and, I don't know and at that fault. point. We'll we'll use it no, wrong, like we have been. No, the the technology medium has been used to control humans in in a mass there's no way around way. is what you're saying it's yeah. It's, yeah. it's all control the technology is so far already past us and the people that are in control of it have already, i just man like, like, like it's I'm fucked man fucking that, over it's fucked on that i just it pisses me off and i try and like go back into my memory bank and just try and find i think i got my first cell phone when i was in like eighth grade and it was a prepaid and you had to buy a card and put money on it type of shit and you could only call and text and it costs money but before that life, and I was so young that I'll never be able to like truly appreciate that. And I guess I could appreciate it for when I was young, but as an adult, I'll never know what it's like to live without a cell phone or a pager. I mean, just or anything don't, like that. don't like leave your phone in a fucking leave your no, phone no, no, down no, here no, for no, the no, next no. five days. It doesn't change the fact that I go to work and I see every single person on their phone. You know, like I would love to go back into like the early '90s or late '80s and go into a bar and just see everyone talking. No one on their phone, no one on a pager. Yeah, just it'd be every, great. yeah, like I just, I'll never know what that that was like. Yeah, everyone's just sitting there smoking cigs, blowing coke, whatever the fuck that they're doing, smoking it's weed, dude, just having that. a good fucking time. Well, if you are in that type of black environment, people, and all the black people were just like super shit on there, man, it's always like a time and place kind of shit. Like you were like, oh man, that's a great era, right? Well, there's plenty no, no, of people that I'm did not, not even, have a good time yeah. in, in that era, too. I'm, and I'm not even bringing that up, bro. I'm specifically saying I'll never know what it's like to live without a cell phone yeah, no, and be around this. people who have them. Yeah. You got this. Is all I'm saying. I know that you always go back to you got this. Which is what I, man, I want people to understand. Like you, whatever anybody's trying to sell you, anytime like somebody's trying phone, to sell Paul. you. What's yeah, up? So yeah. get off your phone. Yeah, get off your fucking. You want to know what ball? life's like without it's, it? It's too. It's too bad, man. It's, it's, it's too late. This is the thing so you're for part me. Of the problem. Whenever somebody's trying to I sell that. you, I know. Whenever we they're all trying. Are. Yeah. My bad. Go ahead. Whenever somebody's trying to sell you on their shit, you know what I mean? Like it's hey, work this job, or or do this. What you what you're really doing, and and. I feel like people who watch this podcast enough know my point of view on a spiritual aspect of where I think things are in the world. This is what we get. This is, so you just got me to sell my, my fucking, whatever this is, whatever Jesse is right now, I am selling you a piece for it for, for a price or whatever to be able to do uh, other shit, you know? At some point, that gets a little that gets a little wonky because sometimes people get convinced that oh man, if I just give all of this up, 
I'm going to have way more whenever this goes away. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. You just got fucking sold. Like, you just got played, son. You just got fucking played. This is what it is. If you if you try to tell me anything else, well, I don't... Well, can you prove me in anything else outside of this? And they can't. They can never fucking do it. But I'm like, so this is what we have. And, man, you just got to... You just got to do with this the best that you possibly can. And is also no not one does that very small amount of people do that. Do the I, best that they can. I actually think the opposite. No, no. I, I think everybody think, tries think to do the best they can. No, no I think naturally. Not. I think naturally. You mean everybody tries to. No, at least not in America, not Western na- civilization. Na- naturally what are you people, talking about? What do you mean? What am I talking about? Dude, like, and, and I think I'm trying to do the best I can every day. I, I think it's more or no. less, I think it's more, and, and, and I, okay, maybe I'm wrong in a little bit, defining on what people are trying to do their best at, but I think ultimately what it comes down to is you want money to be able to enjoy your own life type of thing. I think laziness is insanely I don't taken over America, don't, including myself. Okay, okay, one, why not? Not to sound hedonistic, in a sense, but why not? Yeah, what's wrong with why, being why lazy? Why not be lazy? Why not? Why not? If if you have and I know this starts I don't think going that's down being a road, your best self. I know this starts your man, I, I have yeah, me being is, my best self is enjoying every moment of life. Why would I ever give up time of being happy to not be happy? Man, this is a big this is a big philosophical shit we're getting into. Everything right now. I everything I do isn't to gain it's not to gain I don't go to work to gain money. I go to work to gain happiness. Money helps buy that happiness. Because I need money for a place to live. Like, I got rent to pay. Okay, so... I got bills to pay and shit. Like, that's why I go to work. Like, everything you do is for... It, it, so I am living my best no, fucking no, self. No, 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 absolutely not. Because you're not happy... To, you're not happy with how certain things are going within our culture and society, and we do nothing to change that. Uh, because I... Because the stuff that would change that, I can't say out loud right now. I understand. It doesn't change the fact that you can't try and help ma- ma- make change. I can and then I would be dead or in jail. But then that's you going out being happy. No, because that doesn't make me fucking happy. Because the the world's already so, so against we, the grain of how I feel right now. So you're trying to be happy within the environment that you were born yeah. into. Yeah. And I and, and the, see what I'm saying is that's bullshit. I just don't agree with that. But but I and, but I'm a part of the problem. I'm part of the process, and I'm going to continue to do those things too. Yeah. I just don't agree with it. And one day maybe I'll wake up and be like, have an epiphany and ch- change my diet, not get on my cell phone. Fucking start getting involved in local politics every single day. Let it consume my life. I just, every minute I have is with my kids or with what I'm doing to try and better the world type of thing. But those are all just how that's my vision. Yeah, but that I mean, and maybe maybe that makes you happy. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're happy with man. Goddamn, I need a break. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I, I hate this idea that man. If you just give up, give up your shit, give up, give up your life, give up your time here, which is limited. If anything, you could equate human life to its time because you can always do that, right? So you give me you give me some of your time. I'm going to give you this. Well, what is my time here worth? Uh, it ends up being like like not fucking very much that I can fucking give you my time, but this is what I have here. And I, I won't listen to uh, the religious side of shit to where they're like, hey, you give me 10% of your earnings. You come in here you know, once a week. And then after you die, you really get it, by the way. You really get it. Just 10% of everything you make financially. And then you follow our political morals. And you got into you religion know, real quick. Yeah, no, be, <laughs> because, because it's the biggest bullshit fucking scam I've ever fucking heard in my life. Where they're like, you just give us this amount of your life. And then, by the way, this doesn't mean so much. Because once you die, then everything will be perfect for you. We promise. We promise as long as you give us X amount of money and X amount of votes and, and you know, and shit like that and control. I what hate if, that fucking idea. But f- how about, how about I live my life? How about I live my life with whatever scenario? No scenario is ever fucking perfect. How about I live my life and, and I do my shit and I will do it the best that I can I given, given the time that I have. And I, you know what? I actually feel very blessed for the time that I have here on this planet and and through this experience right now and this is who I am and this is this is what I'm doing with it and I don't care if I have a million dollars or fucking whatever if if I'm doing it then then I'm then I'm just I'm kind of doing it like you know you can't go back and change the past right 
how much can I fucking change the future? I'm just, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it, you know? So, and fuck all your bullshit for trying to tell me that, you know, things will be better if I go down your route of whatever. Let me live my life. Yeah. I'm just going to live my life, man. Yeah, so no, that, I, and I get that, but that we're, unfortunately you're saying, let me, let me man. live my life, but we're living that type of life in a constructed environment that was made by politicians. Break the environment then. That's, yeah, I don't know. It, that's a, that's a tough way to look at it. You know, it, yeah, yeah, the world's pretty shit, Paul. No, I know. I know. Like it's, yeah. Oh man, that's a tough way are, to look at it. What are we it. at? Yeah. I don't know. I Time can't read it Can you here. see? Hour and 20. Oh yeah. We got to cut it right now, yeah. man. That's long. Well, I hope you guys got something out of this podcast. We got on a little tangent. It was fun. It's good. Uh, I love it, man. I love it. I'm, I don't care if we have five views every podcast for the next 10 years, bro. I'm still going to do it whether or not you guys come on here or not. I hope you guys are here with me. It's like living life, right? You just yeah, do it. This like, is living is life for me, man. This is, this is what I love, man. All our junkies out there, stay fly and ring the bell.